So we're going to release our pectoral muscles. So the thing with myofascial release is we want to do it over clean skin, okay, um, that has no product on it. So that our hands can, to a point, and I'm just taking it away from the heart, taking it away from the midline of the body, and I'm applying enough pressure, I'm gonna do three sweeps in every single area today, I'm applying enough pressure so that the, the hand doesn't just glide over my skin. So I have divvied up the pictorial muscle into two parts and I'm applying just enough pressure to the skin so that I'm able to grip where I feel that the fascia has become more stiff, more spider webby and slowly through the pressure of my fingertips and the heat of my own body, my own hand, get that to release. Uh, fascia is all connected. Fascia surrounds your blood vessels, your internal organs, your muscles, your ligaments, you name it, fascia encases it. And it's all connected and it runs from the top of your head all the way down to the to your, to your feet. Now we're gonna stretch out our day. So this is really lovely to do at night. Let's draw the shoulders down from underneath the arms and take the head so that I'm looking behind me but I am not allowing my shoulder girdle to move. Breath in to prepare. Shoulders down from underneath my arms. Breath out. I draw in through just above my pubic bone and I move my head back to centre. Down, drawing my shoulders down, drawing my shoulders down. Guys, we tend to get all breath in to prepare. Breath out, abs come on, even though it's my neck that's coming around, my neck that's coming around, my neck that's coming around, and I wanna move independently of my shoulder girdle. We're gonna do that another time on each side. Bringing it back, making sure that we don't just move in one block, we're not just moving the head and our shoulders moving with it and taking that movement into our upper traps. We wanna be independent. We wanna be able to move our neck loosey-goosey without our shoulders moving. If you feel any pain or strain, I want you to stop, listen to your body, reassess, try to come back into this stretch. But if you are unsure, if you're feeling pain or strain, stop. You know your body, you've been with your body a very long time. And it's always good to get medical advice before starting any kind of workout or stretching program. And home treatments take a lot out of you. It's quite fatiguing to do your own at-home treatments. We just want to stretch out that neck tension. Cave in on itself as we get older and that's because of changes through your bone density as well as muscles of the face as well as fat tissue as well as even like the your density of your gums and your teeth all of these things cause this area to look like it's kind of shriveling in on itself and you want your lips to look like lips and you know not a bottom hole um or something maybe a sultana that wasn't a very good description i don't think i'll put that on this video butthole butthole mouth because <laughs> i can get i'm really prone to fine lines here and um, I found over the years that many women get them even if they've never smoked. So I do agree um, with a doctor who once said to me, it's not so much a smoking thing as a woman thing. Our collagen and elastin just seems to break down in a way um, that gives us those lines even if we haven't smoked. We're going to come from here and we're releasing. See, just a little bit by bit, you can see my hands fingers getting a little bit stuck and it's just slowly letting go so if yours takes a lot longer just go with that that's perfectly fine that means you really need this oh Okay, very slow. That's it, we're just gonna release all of this. Good, and now I'm gonna come from here. And what's really important is the pressure. The lovely pressure.
to just bring it out making sure that that pressure I'm looking for pressure that's going to enable me to let go let that fascia go more fully through my forehead area then I'm going to bring it in and here I'm going to do the first placement and we're just going to press right in the corner of the eye and right sort of at the corner of the under eye in the trough. We're just going to press here for 30 seconds. 1,000, 2,000, off you go. And after you've pressed here for 30 seconds, you relax it and then you press again for 30 seconds. And you're pressing just enough that you're feeling a release through the sinuses. And 30 seconds. And then you're going to pick these up very slowly and bring this around to the starting point again. Effleurage, effleurage, effleurage. But it's not just effleurage, Jacob. Just like the word effleurage. It is actually a little bit firmer than that so that we can release the fascia. Here we're going to get those two fingers. They were there. Now we want to take them, middle point, which was not done, and corner of our eye. And we want to place enough pressure that you can feel a release through your sinuses. And relax after 30 seconds, and again. And relax after 30 seconds, and again. And then up you go, up you go. Now this time we are going to do underneath the, uh, the eyebrow area. So guys, we're coming here, 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 here. We're counting 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6. And then two fingers. You're looking for the actual hollow. So you're looking for the corner of the under eye area, but in the hollow and the upper. And you're going to press just enough that you can feel a bit of tension being released. 1,000, 2,000, and you're just going to take it up to 30 seconds, guys. And then you'll release it. And then you'll give me another 30 seconds. And you'll release it. Another 30 seconds. And then you will give it a nice sweep and a release and why not come up through this area and keep it down keep it down jcat no reason to lift and guys we were here before so now you want to go there okay you were here and now you're going to go there Good, good, and press, 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 press for 30 seconds. And then release. Press, press, press for 30 seconds. And release. Press, press, press for 30 seconds. And release. And sweep it down. Sweep. All right, guys, make sure your hands are nice and clean. I'm going to take the thumb up and you're going to get, I don't know, you're going to go down. You're going to get, I think it's your mastoid muscle. Okay, I want you to feel it through here. And I want you to feel the pressure of your thumb on the other side. I want you to feel the pressure of the thumb on the other side. And now you're just going to squeeze those two areas, relax your body, set your intention. Notice how that muscle can kind of release. And you kind of end up almost touching your fingertip to your thumb as that muscle just kind of melts in your hand. And then relax and do it again. This time go in a little deeper and see if just applying the right amount of pressure just helps to release that muscle. I can actually feel that up into my ear. So do that three times. 
Hold it for about 30 seconds. Three times, hold it for about 30 seconds and you're feeling right back here for this muscle and you're looking for a sensation of this finger touching this thumb. So you have to take this thumb quite deep into the jaw. Now we're gonna go upper, so that's just to help release through here, here. And here we're going to, we wanna feel it up into, where you can feel this on your jaw, into your gum, okay? But I also am looking right now through my thumb to imagine I'm feeling this muscle, yeah? My cheek, and I wanna kind of feel it here. So then fingertip, here, not here, although that feels good too. So let's hold it there for 30 seconds. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000. Ooh, that feels really good. So maybe my smiling, hey? A lot of smiling going on. So let's just release that for 30 seconds. And then relax, and then another 30 seconds. And then relax after your 30 seconds. Ooh, that feels really good. And then last one. So now we need to do here. Okay, and release, and now up. And I'm actually kind of pushing into the bone here too. 1,000, 2,000, yeah, 30 seconds. And thumb is right in, up in my gum, up under my jaw, and here I can feel through this muscle. Oh, it feels good. Feels like it's releasing a lot of tension through here. Okay, again, make sure your hand is clean, and in we go. You're working to get this, this finger to touch through this muscle. Um, even more because a lot of tension held in this muscle. Some people even get Botox in the masseter muscle, but um, they get because it they hold a lot of tension. They clench their jaw, right. and at night we can clench the door, jaw and grind even grind our teeth. Look for that line that we all want to release through here. Mm -hmm. Don't know what I was trying to say there. Up, up. That's what I was trying to say. And be organic about it. Bring it around. Come through this line that none of us like. Deepening with smile lines. Bring it through. Finding the little stuck areas. Taking it up. Be organic about it. Maybe you finish up with just three of these sweeps. But after you come up through this very important area, you can actually finish off the second last sweep underneath the eyes instead of the forehead. And then your very last. So do that guys once a week in conjunction with your MyoLift therapy and your Chua Trend therapy for the most comprehensive at-home microcurrent muscle and EMS combination um, treatment, which I think would be the bomb for at-home use, but it's really heavy homework, guys, and I'm gonna be talking about that in a future blog. But I will be doing this routine once a week because I'm now reconnecting with my microcurrent muscle work using the Bio Ultimate Platinum microcurrent device, which works to raise adrenosine triphosphate levels by 500% through the skin cells and also through the muscle, as well as work to re-educate the muscles of the face and neck and gain a more lifted and sculpted and naturally youthful look by improving the scaffolding underneath the skin and I'm gonna complement that work with RF radio frequency non-ablative Exilis 360 Ultra is what I'm using in our four stage facelifting treatments for myself. Um, and when used in combination with my microcurrent muscle treatments, they are a five stage facelifting treatment. Not really. Um, okay, so yes. Um, I will be showing you guys me rehabilitating my skin and the muscles beneath because I've been slacking off on my treatments for the last two years. So, 
Jessie Katz Medi Spa, hoping to have shared a really great myofascial release uh, treatment or routine rather uh, that you can implement into your at-home beauty routine and gain um, more of a rested look to your facial features and also make any muscle work that you're doing more effective. Jessica Katz Medi Spa. Bye. <laughs>